How are we going to stop these sins? Wallahi, I will discuss it with you and I want you to implement it the next time your nafs calls you to a sin. Listen to this solution. As you approach committing this sin, right? Remember what I'm saying. So now, a shaytan has whispered in your mind, your desire is starting to build up bit by bit and you feel like approaching and committing a sin, especially the sins that are in private watching something that is impermissible, taking a drug, for example, drinking alcohol in secret because your parents or your friends don't know about it, going through your spouse's phone. Also, that is haram and that's a sin. And the, the, there's a desire to do that. When you approach to commit a sin, I tell you what, there is always, always a feeling of fee in the heart of a believer. 100%. There is some feeling inside your heart. Obviously, this is what makes us believers. That we believe that Allah sees us when we commit sins. No one denies this fact. Even the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he referred to that feeling in your heart when you approach a sin. He referred to it as fi qalbi kulli mu'min. That feeling of fee that Allah is watching over you. That the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam referred to it as the warner that is in the heart of every believer. So what I want you to do when you approach a sin in private, don't ignore that sense of fear in your heart. Don't ignore that sense of Allah watching over you. Don't. Rather, I want you to do this. Take advantage of that feeling and say to yourself these words aloud. Say, Allah is watching me. Don't ignore the feeling. When you suppress and ignore the feeling that Allah is watching over you, you commit the sin. Rather, what you're supposed to do at that moment, take advantage and say the words aloud. Say, Allah is watching me. Read the words of Allah in Surah Al-Alaq. Doesn't he know that Allah is watching over you? And, say, and answer, answer the question of Allah. Answer it and say, Oh Allah, yes, I know you are watching over me. And I'm going to act by this knowledge that I know. And I'm going to stop the sin and what I'm doing right now. I'm ashamed of myself, O oh Allah. I'm going to stop. Look, Yusuf alayhi salam, when he was in that setting and the wife of Al-Aziz came and wanted to tempt him and make him fall into the sin. And she was alone with him in the room. Yusuf alayhi salam, the first thing he said was, Ma'ad Allah. May Allah protect me from this. He mentioned the word Allah. Don't ignore the feeling of fear of Allah in your heart. Don't ignore it. Raise it. Bring it out to your tongue. Say it. Start mentioning. Say, A'udhu Billah. Say, Allah can watch me. Say the words. Yastaghfuna min al-nas wa la yastaghfuna min Allah. As Allah said in the Quran. Say Say it, Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Quran, they cover their sins from the people out of fee of being exposed and they don't cover their sins out of fee from Allah. وَهُوَ مَعَهُمْ And Allah is with them all the time. He can see them and what they do. Take advantage of that feeling of fee in your heart when you're doing the sin and bring it up. Don't ignore it. If you ignore it, you're going to fall into the sin. Allahu Akbar. Don't ignore this feeling. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters in Islam, if you remember Allah and you remember the name of Allah and you say, Ma'ad Allah, just before you commit a sin, Wallahi, the mention of Allah will destroy the temptation and the desire instantly, instantly. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَلَا يَفْقُلُ مَعَسْمِ اللَّهِ شَيْءٍ Nothing is heavy when it's weighed with the name of Allah. So if you're mentioning Allah and you're saying Ma'ad Allah and you're saying I fear Allah and you're saying these words aloud, if they are weighed with your desire and your temptation to do the haram, to watch the haram, if you're mentioning Allah's name and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said nothing will ever outweigh Allah's name. Therefore, your temptation and your desire will be shattered instantly.